Christina Applegate stars in NBC's Up All Night, Fall's refreshing take on the ups and downs of becoming new parents. And since the TV veteran gave birth to her own adorable little girl earlier this year, she has no problem relating to her character. I'm still in the process of losing my my baby weight, so I don't fit into any of my cute fashionable clothes at all. So I'm still in maternity pants and uh, sweatpants. Yep, Christina knows it's not as easy as celebs make it look. Yes! So we met up with fitness guru and mom, Loren Chabu, who literally wrote the book on reclaiming your pre-baby bod. Start early. The mistake most moms make is they think they can wait for nine months or a year. It took nine months to put on the weight. It's going to take a good nine months to take it off. From Jessica Alba to Alicia Keys, America watched as Hollywood's newest moms lost the baby fat. Alicia Keys. Larger lower half. But you know what? Having the baby kind of, you know, made her hips and everything all even out, so she's doing something right. Kate Hudson, second baby, knew that she couldn't gain that extra 10 to 20 pounds because it was so hard to take off the first time. So this time she gained the recommended 35 to 40 pounds and she's back to shape already. Allie Larder. She's naturally thin, and you notice when she had her baby or she gained her baby weight, it was all in her tummy. So she's back to normal, and she was smart during her pregnancy. She exercised. Most people think that if you drink water, you're going to get bloated, but it's really the opposite. It helps flush everything out and gives you a nice flat tummy that I know all those new moms want. Jessica Alba, that was her biggest thing. That's how she got back in shape. She drank lots of water. Here's my tips to lose the baby fat. One, start early. Two, no excuses. Three, drink lots and lots of water. Four, remember you're not eating for two anymore. Look your best and don't miss Up All Night. Wednesdays, 8, 7 central on NBC.